video is going to show you how to start applying colors to the white areas. So I really do not expect you guys to apply one color to the entire background, such as, uh, let's say, red. Um, to do that, you would just go to the background and just use the paint bucket and dump the color in. Whereas, I mean, you could start by this and just to, just to kind of get rid of the white, if white isn't going to be one of your colors. But the idea is, is that the, you're going to have different spaces with different colors. And I'd like you to pick like three or four, even maybe five colors for your design. Let's say that I wanted red to be one of the colors, another color is the color orange. Um, if you want to change a color, by the way, you can always change the color by hitting Command U and you can change the hue. As long as you're on that particular layer, you can go ahead and change it to whatever color that would be better. So I wanted this to be a thing like that. I can go ahead and do that. Okay. So there's going to be two different things that you can incorporate. Whether you want to incorporate just one or the other or both of them, that's completely cool. Some of these areas are going to be painted with just a solid color whether you use the paint bucket or the brush. The other areas can be uh, applied uh, with color using the gradient tool. First thing you're going to do is you're going to get a little organized. I'm going to change layer 2's name from layer 2 to text. No color is going to be in the text. The only thing that's going to be in this layer is this all the time. Next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to make a new layer this time I'm going to call this the name of the color that I am using. So let's say that I'm using orange. Okay. My orange is only going to be in this layer here. Now if I go ahead and I just dump orange into this, you can see that the whole thing becomes orange and I'm not going to be able to see the text. If I move it in front, I'm not going to see any of the red. So what I can do is, instead of dumping the color in, I can go ahead and select areas of orange that are going to be orange by going back to the text tool, using the magic wand tool, and selecting areas that I want to be orange. If I want that to be orange, I use the magic wand tool on the text, get that area, go back to orange layer, go to the paint bucket, and dump the color in. Okay. There is a way that you can select multiple spaces. If you go back to the magic wand tool, one of the options, instead of just having new, because every time you go new, you can see that you get a new selection every time, and it gets rid of the previous selection. You can change that option to add to selection, which will allow you to select multiple spaces. You want to have a nice variety of sizes of spaces, in addition, you want to have a nice um, balance of these spaces. So you want to make sure you kind of move around your area. Now this one, the hot, just so happens you can put color inside the letters. And the other ones, you really can't put them inside the positive space of the letters. I mean, you can put them in the, the holes of the letters. but So that might be good for now. So instead of the paint bucket, if I decide to, I can just go with a brush and select a really big brush. I can go back to the orange layer, because that's where my orange is going to be, and I can just decide to paint it on if I want. Okay, You can see it starts to look kind of interesting with the variety of colors. Okay, If I decide to go with another color, I'm going to make a new layer and change this to whatever color I decide to use. Uh, let's go with blue. I'm going to go ahead and find the blue. And then I'm going to go ahead and pick my colors now. Or pick my spaces, rather. So let's say that I, instead of it being blue, totally, I'd like it to be a blue gradient. So again, I'm going to select an area, select another area, and select another area. This time, instead of solid, I'm just going to pick a gradient. Now, let's say that I'm going to go blue, just blue with white. It's the foreground color with the background color. Now, I just did this without even thinking at all. 
right now I'm set at a diamond gradient. You have to pick your gradient. Uh, let's say I just want a linear gradient. Plus, when I do this, it's going to use the entire space. So the gradient, you can see it goes from blue across the entire picture to the white. But let's say I want them to be smaller areas of a gradient. What you really should do is go to the individual spaces. Just do one space at a time. Go to blue. I only picked one space. Apply the gradient. Hit escape. Pick another space. With these, it would be in your best interest to kind of create a sense of unity to it, is to go uh, use the same gradient, the same style of gradient, go in the same direction. Notice I'm going left to right. So you want a sense of consistency because it's going to make it pretty cool looking. And the biggest thing with this, you know, one of the, I don't say the troubles, but you know, one thing you got to keep an eye on is making sure you're kind of organized. You know, I'm double checking, making sure that I'm on this, the right layer. When I'm doing these demonstrations, wherever I'm looking, I'm putting my uh, cursor to kind of help you guys along. So you can kind of see what my thought process is. So I'm double checking that I'm in that blue. All right. So you just keep going until you fill up the spaces. Like I said, you probably want, once you start getting into more than five colors, that's when it starts to look a little bit too crazy. Um, I guess that's about it. Um, one last thing, if you have a background color and you don't have that much left, you can certainly go ahead and play around with a brush in the background as well. Let's say that I want to go with, uh, with yellow. So this background layer is behind everything. And I can certainly go with kind of like a funky brush if I decide to. And again, you don't want to get too much in here. Once you start getting a lot of different types of textures and effects, you know, because right now I have, I have a gradient, I have different colors, I have solid. You know, you can do something like this just to kind of make it a little bit more visually interesting. So you can see what it is, it's, uh -huh, that's pretty cool. What it is, is you have the gradient spaces, you have the solid spaces, here's your text. You can fill in some areas here solid. You can fill in some areas with the gradient. So you can really have an interesting piece. Uh, hope you guys are having fun with this. I don't want, to, want you to see this as something where it's torture. The idea is to explore the fonts, to see fonts as a a, a design element uh, to focus on negative space um, and to use the different tools again, re, re, uh, revisit you know, the gradient tool and brush tools and stuff. So uh, hopefully you guys are working hard and getting these done. Looking forward to seeing them.